Hello guys. So um <laughs> a real redstone video today as well because um I saw um Tommy videos his version of redstone chickens torch key and it worked, it was pretty small but quite uh unstable. It uh, powered more pistons at the same time and a lot of things like that so it wouldn't work at a lot of places and I made one um, yeah with uh, Celerance as well we were just trying a bit and it's uh, I think completely stable and this has the same size 45 blocks 3 by 3 by uh, 5 and this one is 2 by 3 by 7 so it's even smaller it's at uh, 42 blocks and as far as we know it's stable as well um, so I will just show it first of all and yeah then the tutorial and I will explain it a little bit why it was so easy at the end so that's basically um, what it does this is um, so <laughs> it's just to get a uh, redstone output from so it's basically like some hidden <laughs> excavator but not really hidden so it could be something fancy if you make a temple or something so it shouldn't be really hidden as in pvp um faction pvp hidden but just look cool and yeah have some mysterious look so that one's pretty fast this one is a bit slower so that's why i make a tutorial of that one as well can see but doesn't make too much um, so um, yeah I will just uh, go to the tutorial so um, yes these are the two designs and the items you will need for them are in my inventory so for the left one you would need these items um, the snowballs in both of them just can be a random item they don't have to give a specific signal strength so it can be any item you want basically and um, uh, I think the right one is a bit cheaper than the left one and a bit faster but it's bigger and yeah I try to make the smallest of things so yeah and maybe a too high version would be more suited so um, yeah I will start with the right one so get the spot you want to build it um, go a few down like this so there's one whole gap in between. Your other sticky piston will go there. They want the normal piston facing inwards. Another normal piston facing inwards like that. Um, then you would want your droppers facing into each other. Basically making a um, ledge. So you want to put in your snowmobile there. Um, then you want to get output from that <coughs> and power this like that um, then you want some redstone here your other stick piston there um, a repeater on two going out I will just place blocks first one repeater there and two there and there it is all done let's test it and works perfect uh, of course huh, that was a little bit of um, server lag internet lag sorry um, so yeah I will just uh, tell you the basic concept so again find the spot you want to build it um, the piston layout is same so you do it like this oops like that um so now you do your um arrows latch again it's not really a nor latch because it doesn't uh, use any nor gates but i think i said uh, arrows nor latch before but well so um that directly powers here instead of one lower so you won't have to invert it and it can be 
too high. You can put an uh, item into there. Um, you put a repeater here on too. This will uh, um, be used to update it as well. So that's why it needs to be on two. Um, then, oh no, sorry. Redstone there, piston there, and power switch. So this is basically um, the same as the torch and repeater there. But um, here we can easily take a output from a um, mono stable, pretty much. So you put your other snowball in there. Then you first power this piston. You give it a bit of delay and power that. And you will power the second piston with that and also reset system. So, um, yeah, I should get a torch to show it. So that works all fine. You can basically get the output from everything, of course. It all just flashes once, pretty sure. So, um, yeah. I guess you guys will be smart enough to get the uh, output from there pretty fast so um, yeah that are the two designs and uh, uh, thank you guys for watching bye